I'm Jahan, I'm a traffic lawyer, and I'm gonna tell you what to do if you are in a car accident. Car accidents are mega stressful. The first and most important thing to do is check on the safety of you and any passengers in the car or in the other vehicle or any pedestrians. If anyone is injured, call an ambulance. You wanna stop your car and pull over and hopefully they have the decency to pull over as well. If there are any hazards, if there is smoke coming out of the car, you wanna to move to a safe distance, call the police and call the emergency services to assist. If the other party drives away, then what you wanna do is get their license plate, the make and model of their car, rough year of the car and the direction they're headed in. And you wanna notify police that they have led the scene of an accident without leaving their particulars. It's an offense to do so by the way, so make sure you have the decency to pull over. People think that things that are said in the heat of the moment can have some sort of impact and they can. Best not to say anything at all and just say, hey, we've clearly had a collision. We'll let our insurance company sort it out. Hopefully you have insurance. I'm gonna go through what you do if you have insurance and then what you do if you don't have insurance. If you have insurance, get the other person's license number, their registration details, their name, their contact details, their email address and any way you can contact them. Because what you're gonna do is contact your insurer as soon as possible and give them a detailed breakdown of exactly what has happened. The sooner is the better. They will then tell you what to do and what steps you need to take from that point on. If you do not have insurance, then you will have to negotiate with the other party in relation to what's happened. Sometimes the accident and its fault will be clearly obvious. That being said, people don't always accept responsibility. Collect the details of the other party and speak to them about making sure that they make good the damage. And then what I always suggest is you go to three smash repairers, you get quotes, you go to them and say, I've gotten these three quotes, it's gonna cost this much to fix, please pay it. Sometimes they refuse to pay and you might need to get a lawyer involved. Do you always need to to contact the police, not necessarily. However, if the other person is being aggressive, if it's a serious accident, if you're worried, scared, and you, you can't focus, call the cops. Police have a lot of expertise in dealing with traffic accidents. If it's a minor fender bender and not a particularly big deal, still get the information pertaining to the other side because you do not know how much damage has actually been done to your car. If it is safe to do so, once all the information has been exchanged, go along your way, making sure that you make a report as quickly as possible. Even if you are not at fault and and you don't want to pursue it further, make a contemporaneous note, i.e. a note about what happened that day, so that you, if they turn around and blame you for some reason, have some evidence in your corner. You also want to make sure if there's any witnesses nearby, get their names and information, because it might become pertinent. Hopefully you never have a traffic accident, but if you do, save this video and make sure you follow me for more legal talks so you know what to do in a crisis.